Okay. So the first step is here. We're going to go to events, mm -hmm. and we can click and drag when green flag click. I'll say when green flag click, but there's actually a symbol which is a green flag. Okay. So the well, first thing um our character is gonna do here is she's gonna ask a question. So to do that, we're gonna go to sensing and bring out ask what's your name and weight. Okay. We can, can change the asking. Can you zoom in effect. a little bit on the blocks? Sure. Maybe one more. So we're we're gonna change we're gonna change this task. Obviously, our Among Us guy isn't gonna say what's your name. He's gonna say, "How about this? Welcome to the trivia game." Okay. Are you ready to start? Oh, that's my name. Okay. Oh, wait. Put a period oh. there. Make sure to end that with a question. You can ask something else, but it usually should be something around are you ready to start the trivia game? Alright, what's next? So, next we're going to go to control mm -hmm. and have an if then else. If then else block is basically you're saying if this then we do this if that is not this then we do this oh, so this, so what are we gonna put inside the diamond area right there what has to happen to do something okay this, so that's we're which, gonna put that inside this hexagon shape we're gonna oh, go to operators mm -hmm. and we're gonna bring out the equal sign all right got it if Blank equals blank. So let's say it. I will say what answer do you want to use? Have it yes. Um. And what we're gonna check for to be the yes is we're gonna look at answer. You can click and we can bring that out, and then your code should look like this. If answer equals yes, then blank else. Okay, but sometimes the answer can be sure or yeah. You're right. So how, if how if, can we... if if we wanna um let them answer something else than yes, we can bring we can go to operator again and bring out the or block. We're gonna put this answer equals yes into one of those or spaces. And we're going to in the other or let's check well what's a different answer than yes yeah yeah is it? yeah okay yeah. so let's check if the answer is yes so we're going to bring out another equals change this to yeah and then we check if the answer is it so we go to sensing mm -hmm. put the answer there so, so now we're saying if the answer, if the person answers yes, or the, the person answers yeah, then we do this. Then we're right. gonna start the trivia game. But how to start the trivia game? We're gonna put in a different script. So we're gonna put broadcast. But um, and to um, we're not gonna broadcast message one because we okay. want to make a different broadcast message. <clears throat> We're going to click on message one, and then on the drop down menu, we're going to click new message. We're going to put next question. Okay, so I'm guessing this one is going to start the next question. Yeah, so we're going to bring it to the further question. Okay. The, and we're going to broadcast also another message. Oh, not in the else, but in the if. We're also going to create another new message called start game. Start game. And I guess this message is going to start the game. Yep. So it's kind okay. of like going to start the timer, starting mm -hmm. the question numbers, and a bunch of other things. What if they're not ready to start? So what, yes. what do we put in the else? So that's the thing other than 
other than yes, if they basically in the else, this is gonna happen if they don't answer yes and they don't answer yeah. So on the other thing, if we answer something else like no, or just type some random stuff, that that doesn't signify we're ready to start this. So we're gonna go to look. And we're gonna go and we're gonna bring out say hello for two seconds. We're gonna change this two to a three because we want the message to last longer. And then we're not gonna say hello. We're going to say okay. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. But uh, but but the thing is, we don't want the the person to keep doing some something and try to start the trivia game some other way. So we're going to bring in control. We're going to bring out the stop all. We're going to get to the bottom of say, okay, bye. Stop so, so basically what will happen if you don't answer yes and you don't answer yeah, the the Among Us character is going to say, okay, bye, for three seconds, and then everything's just going to stop. All right. Should we test this out? Sure. Is that what I should test out? What we got to do is, this is one flag, green flag click, so you're going to click this. So it's, welcome to the trivia game. Are you ready to start? I'm going to say yes. yes. I'm going to say yes, okay. yeah. Nothing's going to happen here because we haven't told the Among Us guy what to do um, if if it has if it hears next question or start game. Yeah, so what's going to happen if it's broadcasting next question? That's what it's... we're going to do next. Okay, that's the well, next question. Well, actually, first, we're going to make even even to set up the game even more, we're gonna bring out another one flag click. Okay. You actually can put the code I'm gonna put under the the second one flag click under the other one flag click, not in the else but below it, mm -hmm. and that would still work. But All right, we let's can see. split it into smaller scripts, which is like this, um, a bit of code under. An event, but 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 um, but we just want to um, be able to see it better to see the different parts. So, what's going to go in here? Here, we're going to kind of set up all the answers, the questions, and kind of the things that make up the game. So, the first thing we're going to go to variables for this, and we're going to make a new variable. So we just click make a variable. We'll call this question number. Mm. We're gonna make two more variables. They're called score and time. Oh God. We're not going to show um all of these to the player. Um, so to hide them, we're going to click the checkbox over here. So we're going to uncheck question number, um, but we're oh, yeah. going to keep the score and time. We can yeah, let's, drag let's keep these the and time. over here and we can make, we can, um, we can, if you want, you can make the timer. Um, so we right click on the timer and then we can click on normal readout. The default or large readout. I'll do score um, okay. for normal readout and timer for large. We're going to, the the first piece of code we're gonna put here is we're going to set a variable. We're gonna set these variables to something. We're not gonna set my variable. We're gonna set question number to zero because technically we we haven't started the game yet. Okay. We're gonna set the score to zero because it wouldn't really be fair if they started off with or yet say fifty points or something. And we're gonna set timer to six because they're gonna have one minute to complete the game. All right. So the 
So we're going to give the game all of the answers and all of the questions to check if the per the player got the questions right. So going we're going to make two different lists. Nice. One for questions and one for answers. Two lists, one for questions, one for answers, and another list for answers. Got it. Okay. Okay. So we're go so we're going to add all the questions and answers to the question and answers. So we're okay. going to have five questions, but you can make um. The, uh, more questions or less. You change all of the first adding to to adding to questions. The first five only. So now okay. we should have five adding to questions and five adding to answers. All right. Should I send you the the questions? Oh yes. Should so I send you? The, we're gonna. Go to, back to Chat GPT to get, to give us all these questions because I don't play Among Us much, so I need Chat GPT to help me make some questions. 